What's up everybody? Ramon, lifestylesdefined.com. So I do a little a short video on uh, Microsoft SkyDrive. You know, they just released a desktop app and they released some, some tiered pricing plans. Uh, I have SkyDrive for a while, ever since they, they announced it. You know, SkyDrive been through a lot. Um, they had SkyDrive, they had Live Mesh. They were running side and side and they both had like some ridiculous amounts of storage space. SkyDrive had, a, I think it was 25 gigs when it first started. So anyway, Microsoft is going full-fledged with, with SkyDrive at this point. And what they did, they released a desktop app. So it allows you to pretty much sync whatever files you have on your PC up to the cloud or whatever you have on your cloud back to the PC. And they also, I think about a month or two ago, they released the SkyDrive app for the Windows phone, which is what you're looking at. And as well, there's there's one for the I was looking at a picture. There's one for the um, for the iPad here and all its iPadness. So what's really what's really unique about well, it's not unique. It, it's Dropbox has the same services. Um, Google just relieved their drive, but you know, as being a SkyDrive fanatic, uh, a Microsoft fanatic rather. It's good to see Microsoft with the solution, especially since they've been doing it probably first. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, I think SkyDrive has been a, around a little longer than Dropbox. And what's what's really nice to draw to me is SkyDrive is actually integrated into the Windows Phone. So let's take a picture. All right, so you just took a picture of the iPad, and in my settings on my phone. I've got it set to automatically upload images to SkyDrive. So let's give that a few seconds to actually sync up. But aside from that, when you go into your, your pictures, you can see here pictures from SkyDrive. This is my pictures hub. This is this is all of my uh, all of my pictures on the cloud. None of this is actually on the phone. It's my dude Nick right here. Yeah, I may have seen his interview on YouTube. None of these things are on the phone. And you know, LTE in a Nokia really helps, but it's it's really, you know, it, it's it's a, it's a joy to have whatever all of your pictures just in the cloud somewhere and available if you need it. So if you ever need to share something, all you'd have to do is save it to the phone, and that's it done. It's as simple as that. So when I go back to my pictures hub and I go to my save tabs, albums saved. There it is. I didn't have it on the phone previously. I didn't need it on the phone. But now that I need it, I can get access to it. So likewise, it's it's the same way it's the same way on on the iPad. So if you go to Sky to wait, did it take it? No, it didn't. Give it a second, it'll populate. It's taking a little longer than usual. Oh, there it is. Just popped in. And there's the picture. So I can tell you, and it's not it's not only it's not only pictures, right? You know, pictures is just what I access the most. But you've got my documents here. These are all my reviews I've ever written and, and resumes and a bunch of random documents. And then there's my wallet, all my, my password stuff. So there's there's definitely a a really good plus to have to have these these files you know in the cloud and again this is this is my windows phone this is an ipad two completely different platforms but to be able to have them both synced with my files whenever whenever i need it like you know that that's definitely a plus so shout out to microsoft for that and SkyDrive. you know i'll, I'll do a little write-up on the site with the pricing plans so you guys can get more info on that but anyway ramon lifestyles defined signing off see you guys later